Here I am. Lost again. <laughs> if Tara was here, she'd ask how the hell I can get lost in a place that basically has one road. Damn, I already miss San Francisco. And to wrap up this news report, we still have no, no information regarding Crystal Hugens. Sorry, Nils. There's a new place to hide. Look out, Las Vegas. Jade Lacroix is on her way. I think I've been driving for five hours now. Yep, I'm doing it, Fog City. Cheating on you for the weekend. Oh, black coffee. Would I still look human without you? What's this? Another one of Tara's secret love letters? Aw, I'll keep that warm for later. Aw, oh, now that's heartwarming news. Thanks, Death Valley. What the fuck? Oh god. Oh god. Oh, breathe. Relax. Oh, it was just a... Uh... A panic attack or something. Oh, you need to pull over. Oh, anywhere. Quick. Oh. Oh, at last. Oh, my back. Oh. That thing back there on the road. Oof. I don't even want to think about it. How's it going, Christine? I still don't like that nickname, huh? Deal with it, babe. Pretty flashy, but I doubt this attracts much more than mosquitoes. Crystal, still missing. She was in the neighborhood when she disappeared. Too tired to call anyone for the moment. I need to refocus. Okay, Motel 9, Death Valley. Hmm. Isn't that the one they talked about on the radio? The one with the missing girl? <laughs> I am definitely the world's worst tourist guide. Nice sound. So, what now? Hello? Hey. I'm gonna need your ID card. Man, this guy looks like he's waking up from a ten-year nap. How old is he? He looks like he's got a few lives under his belt. No ID card. Oh, my no ID room. card. I left it in the car. I hope. Here you are, you fragile official proof of my existence. Okay. Now I hope he's not gonna stare at my picture for too long. Well, about time. Pretty sure he's from around here. Probably grew up in this land. Poor guy. <laughs> Still might make a good character for my book. Nice. Oh, I should buy one of those for the apartment. Tara would love it. Come visit sure our big staying. nothing. Some pretty interesting the things to see around here. The most amazing nothingness you'll ever visit. Oh, I love the desert. How nice to share your junk food remnants with the client.
In a movie, a young genius would hack the Pentagon with this thing. Crystal Huygens. This girl's face is everywhere since she disappeared. Her family must be actively searching for her. I hope she just found a better place to live. Not this way, said the key to Jade. But Jade was lost, yet again. Not this way, said the key to Jade. But Jade was lost, yet again. Hey, King. How you doing, boy? Yeah, it's been a while. Any news about this book I'm supposed to be writing? Still not writing itself, is it? Shit. Oh, what's happening to me? My banker's asking that same question. Huh. A missing persons ad. Crystal Huygens. Wow. It's the girl they talked about in the radio news. Is this guy a relative? Gee, wow. Would you look at this? Folders. Ooh, you're the special room. Ooh, love the yellow tape. Really livens up the space. You've done a great job with this place. What? Did I do something wrong? He's looking at me like I've done something wrong. A police investigation? My sixth sense tells me this could be Crystal's room. The last place where she lived. My five other senses say this is seriously creepy. You're mine now. Jade's sacred place, land of the nap. TV? Phone? Maybe I will survive this place after all. The sofa looks okay. Not sure about that painting, though. Hey, bed. Can you make this day a distant memory? No more being tired, no more monsters. And, uh, while you're at it, how about a few ideas for my book? Or some instant money in my bank account? Oh, I must be dreaming already. Hey, Tara, you're here. It's our room in San Francisco. Here I am. Not such a great shot of me, but... Uh, Tara insisted on keeping it. It's late. One of your sleepless nights. I'm so sorry for you. I'd give you some hours of my sleep if I could, baby. <sighs> Too bad these were never even able to help you sleep. I hate to see you pacing like an animal in a cage. I know how sad you get. It's 4 a.m. 
writing. You're counting the hours. Why can't I reach you? I wish I could touch you right now. Warm you up. Give you a... Please, please, please! Whatever you do, never stare at it. Run away. Run away and hide. It's a nightmare. A nightmare that kills. <laughs> oh, that thing again. What the hell was that? Am I going nuts or what? Man, I really need to clear my head. Let me talk. You don't know what you've stepped into. The motel where you're staying was built on lies. It's dangerous, like this whole region. Some folks know, but they keep letting people come here. People like you. Leave as fast as you can. We don't call it Death Valley for nothing. Well, that was, uh, interesting. Absolutely not spooky. Everything's fine. Whoever chose this for decoration should have a 24-hour-a-day police tale. Stop staring at me. You know I'd like to, but you know I can't. Yeah, because these days when I write, I spend more time chewing my nails than typing, okay? Oh, and I thought I was a pro. Even six books later, writing scares me like I was a kid or something. One of Tara's in my favorite albums. Found it in a store before leaving the city. Very good deal. <laughs> Must be some useful stuff in there. Come on, Jade, you're supposed to have set this code. Okay, need to find it somehow. I think I'll give this reading a pass. This thing looks like it's on the blink. Like most things around here. Yeah, you get what you pay for, I guess. Why would anyone want little John staring at them while they sleep? burning in here. I'll take any help I can get. <sighs> Locked, of course. The key must be around here somewhere. A Bible. I wish it could help me with this headache. means. Reminder, next time you leave yourself a reminder, remind yourself to be more explicit. Oh shit! It's here! Where's the damn key? Oh, that 
thing again. What the hell was that? Am I going nuts or what? Man, I really need to clear my head. Let me talk. Well, that was, uh, interesting. Absolutely not spooky. Everything's fine. Weird. I don't remember leaving the key there. Why did I leave? It was so stupid. Just me freaking out yet again. Uh, it's us. Tara and me on one of the good days. Oh shit! It's here! Where's the damn key? Leave me alone! He's coming! Don't move! Just don't move! Please tell me it's really gone. There must be some useful stuff in there. Come on, Jade, you're supposed to have set this code. Okay, need to find it somehow. I have no idea what this means. Reminder, next time you leave yourself a reminder, remind yourself to be more explicit. I have no idea what this means. Reminder, next time you leave yourself a reminder, remind yourself to be more explicit. Oh, Tara, I miss you. It was so stupid to leave like that. Hmm, a screwdriver inside a safe? Must be one expensive screwdriver. I'm in. Now let's find that key and get out of here. I how it got there, but my head hurts, and I don't care. It's time to get out of here. Oh, please! Please, please! It's really gone. Come on. Oh no. Uh, no. Wait, that's the guy from the reception desk. Was that a dream? Are you kidding me? Rough night, huh? It's the and desert. now, a quick weather update from the National Weather You'll Service. Used to it. We've received news of a sandstorm currently rising in Sandstove Creek, Death Valley. It is strongly recommended to avoid going out except in case of emergency, and to lock all your doors and windows. Power cuts, service shortages, and sudden darkness are possible throughout the storm. So above all, remain calm. I... 
I need something to calm myself down. Coffee. No, not coffee. A cigarette. I don't have any. I am so screwed. It's the White House, my favorite bar. It's... Wow, it's the night I met Tara for the first time. You were so beautiful. I think that night when I saw you, I discovered how empty I was. How much space there was left for someone like you. This menu used to really make me drool, especially the cheap prices. But for now... You've switched off the world, and no burger on earth can compete. I'm not even hungry anymore. You're messing with my stomach, Tara. You look at me, and then this eternal fear, this, this fear of the world, which is the only thing I know, this black fear that forces me to write, disappears. And there's only you. This place is like home to me, a bigger home than my apartment. I work here, read here, eat here. I flee loneliness here. In your eyes, just a, a welcoming curiosity. I don't know it then, but in a few minutes we'll start talking and, and it will last for hours and, and then years. I'm still so full of you, Tara. That dream was too real. Damn, I need coffee. There's still a bit in there. Oh, I guess I'm saved. What the hell? Hey, what are you doing here? The water first, Jade. Feet are wet. This is not the time to do stunts on the damn tiling. All right, good. Now let's try to think and... God, this is so sick. Uh, I can't fucking believe this. I drive 400 miles just to get burglarized in this hole? Well, luckily they weren't trying to steal my new manuscript because uh, there isn't one. Who called me? Nobody knows I'm here. That guy again? The one from yesterday? Must be that guy from the reception. Whistly something. He's got all the keys. But why lock me in? Even the paintings? Why? Hey. I'm sure there was a photo of Tara in here. Did someone... Whistly? Ugh. Oh. I have no respect for anything. I really hope that dude is not around anymore. Looks like someone really didn't like these pictures. <sighs> Weather forecast talked about a storm. Seems the sky didn't get the memo. This is absurd, unless someone was looking for something. Something on the wall? What a mess. 
Looks almost like my room back home. It's detaching itself. Looks like there's something behind it. What is this, a door? In a damn closet? Locked, what did you expect? Am I still doing here? They missed the point. It's not on the walls. It must be behind it. Behind the frame. not one of these parallel dimension things. Okay, time to come out of the closet. <laughs> the second time in my life. Locked. How am I going to get out of here? I'm not even supposed to be here. Well, 
this place definitely has interesting closets. I've already seen symbols like this. Uh, what do they call them? Uh, sounds like NASCAR and... NASCA! Giant drawings in stone they found in Peru. Nice buttons. I used to collect them too a long time ago. Before I switched to collecting overdue notices. Other symbols. She was obsessed. Drugs, maybe? Drugs make me see unicorns, so why not? Crystal Huygens. No doubt that's definitely her. All her stuff is still here. She clearly didn't just leave. Oh, this is so strange to disappear like that. Looks like someone got their nose inside her suitcase. Probably the police. Weird. How does it open? Could I... Oh, wow. It's an altar. This is an urn. Oh, Crystal. No child should have to carry their mother's ashes. This must be Crystal. The older woman must be her mother. The deceased. All burned down. She spent some time here, maybe praying. Crystal's past. Photos from a normal life. Everyday memories. Nice craftsmanship. Can't wait to open your secret little box, Crystal. Weird. Hmm. There's something going on here. A wooden key. I would have found this cute someplace else.
still needs a piece. The last one, I guess. Some kind of key. Oh, wow. You'll never believe this, Tara. I figured out a riddle for once. In a world of keys, must it be the ones that make you free? Are you kidding me? Who's the son of a... that pervert again? Oh, this is messed up. Real messed up. Oh, it's locked like all the other windows. Okay, Jade. You can do it. Remember those electronics classes? Remember Dad, he taught you. What? What have I done wrong? What did I miss? A fuse needs to go in there. A fuse needs to go in there. A fuse needs to go in there. A fuse. That'll do the trick. That's it. Come on now, fit the hell in there. Oh, yes. Yes! <laughs> Good. Now close yourselves already. Now! Faster! <gasps> okay, so it took me a while, but I finally finished it. Hey, look. I wanted to make you a deer, but I'm not very good at this. So it eventually turned out to be a dream catcher. It'll catch your most perverted dreams, too. You okay with that? Ever seen a dream catcher blush? You better love it. I put my whole heart into it. And some of my blood, too, because I cut myself when I made it. Should I put it here? That way you'll think of me whenever you see it. But keep your eyes on the road. It'd be too bad to end up in a cactus. <laughs> oh, this is crazy. Am I going nuts? Maybe I snap for real this time. I need help, but everyone's so far away. I'm all alone. The laundry room. Damn, it's cold. Or is it just me? Better get used to it. I'm not going back up there. Playing rodeo on a working machine will probably end badly for me. I'm no bomb rider. Don't start staring at this thing, Jade. It says out of order. Yeah, oh, nothing lasts forever, my friend. Can't reach the door. It's stuck. Something tells me these are not ritual symbols for clean laundry. Was Crystal here? the smallest things that stand in your way. Locked. And you know how stubborn these machines can be. But 
button's not working. Button needs coins to work, of course. Stupid button. My technical skills never cease to impress me. Should work now. Sorry, little red Soviet plane. My life kind of depends on beating your ass. Good at waging war for a pacifist. Take that, you greedy coin sucking monster. Still not enough coins. Insert three coins, open a machine. Huh, deal of the year. Would you look at me, taming a wild washing machine in the middle of the desert. Dirty bed sheets, as in Petri dish. So, one win in the game wins you one coin as a reward. Coins mean getting out of here. I guess I have no choice. stuff to take care of, like leaving this place in one piece. It made a click. That's a good sign. This... this doesn't look normal at all. An opening at the bottom of a washing machine? Okay, it's the only way out anyway. Ah, oh, 
Check this out. Don't know where I am, but I'm pretty sure I'm not supposed to see it. What kind of dirty stuff are they trying to hide in here? They say my stories are always about paranoia, but see, this is real. Things are not all right in this world. What am I gonna do? When you pin perfect strangers on a wall, they're not strangers anymore. They mean some serious shit is going on. Jeez, who are these people? What happened to them? It's Crystal, the girl that vanished. I, I don't get it. Have they all disappeared? Is it a spy thing? Is the government behind this? The Russians? Well, of course, this is 1989. It's always the Russians. He must be about 25 or 30. This is not only about women. What's going on here? Probably loads of interesting stuff in there. Fighting communism. Wow. Don't tell me this is all about the Cold War. These paintings have known better days. Looks like this hole's made to fit a handle. Modern technology. Folders. That makes a lot of paper. Through the washing machine, a dark tale about Jade getting into deep shit. Idea. Too far. Note for later, grow taller if you want to survive. The sky doesn't look good. Guess the weather report was right. There is a storm coming. The Girl in the Light That Wouldn't Turn On, the best-selling tragedy by Jade Lacroix. city. There's no way I'm going into the dark with that thing around. Okay, the path is clear. Doesn't anything work around here? Hey, look, it needs some fuses. I should be able to get this ladder down. I should. One more fuse to go.
Okay, time to give some elbow grease. Believe it. They even stole Tara's picture from me. Nice. This may come in handy. You made it. Now get out of here quick. You need to warn people. The cops or the army or whoever has a gun and is still sane. Maybe even write something about this if you survive. A bedroom? Ugh, it smells like nobody has ever opened a window here. Either this guy is a master cynic or a first-class patriot. This is Wesley Argos, ground two agent, code 658. Yes, we've got a problem. Shit, there he is. The new oh, girl, he's... Jade LaCroix. Wait, she's pulling away from the path. He's talking about me. No, no, what she's restless. I'm it's no like she's one. running nothing. away from something. Not even a great But I don't know what's happening to her. Oh, dear, it's been a dear, month dear, since me. Crystal Hugens crossed the threshold, and that's too long. She's got to go to the end of the pilgrimage. What? Listen, listen. I'm paid to do one job, and that's to make sure LaCroix gets to the destination. What do you want exactly? Another disaster like at 63? Yes, Michael I'll take care of it, but I'm gonna need oh, backup. There are some missing. Sent Taylor. They probably Someone the might be helping the, the girl. Reception desk. I am not going back down there. Can this actually be real, Tara? It makes me think of your horrifying sensationalist headline news. <sighs> Hope I haven't missed anything good. No batteries, I knew it. It's always the batteries. I'm never able to find batteries at home, so of course here. He's after me. Oh, is this really happening? I can't just walk out. I think, Jade, you have to find a safe way out of here. Think! No tape, no sound. No batteries, I knew it. It's always the batteries. This is surreal. Looks like an official document. Hide the tape in a safe place. Okay, sure, but in a pizza box? Seriously? Hey, if this is a dream, would somebody please wake me up now? Ah. I think this guy's never even heard of water. Wow, that's one thriving bacteria farm. This 
this the right size? I think it is. Oh, please tell me it is. It was only in sleep mode. Hold on a sec. What if... What if I call the phone booth? Yeah, that might work. It could fail too, but... Oh, come on, Jade. Just do it. Gotcha. Two batteries. I've definitely never been this lucky... Uh, today. No tape, no sound. No tape, no sound. Hours of recordings. All the rooms. Must be all the clients of the motel for years. What is this place? A giant peep show? Man, I am in deep trouble. Secret tape mentioned in the secret letter in the mysterious pizza box. Oh, great. Give me another reason to freak out. There's no valve sit or a month of muff or a skill sit. My heart games is it. There's no reason there. So I grow yourself with. Easy, like a hacker from one of those B movies. I've already seen this trailer around. He must belong to the guy putting up those missing persons posters. Well, since he's the only other person I've seen here. Hold on a sec. What if... What if I call the phone booth? Yeah, that might work. It could fail too, but... Oh, come on, Jade. Just do it. Shit, this guy has turned his bedroom into a surveillance center. Must be Wesley's room. That guy from reception. Oh, God, this can't be true. It's my room. My stuff. Oh, oh God. He probably filmed me naked. Hold on a sec. What if... What if I call the phone booth? Yeah, that might work. It could fail, too, but... Oh, come on, Jade. Just do it. To Wesley Argos. Oh, Round two, wow. Agent. This is main ground. Wow. This week's secured phone booth number is 512-399-899. I repeat, 512-399-899. We'll call you at 4 p.m. for your weekly debriefing about Jade LaCroix. Be there. They sound military, but like... Twisted military. I'm being hunted. By my own country. In my own country. What do I do? Surrender's not an option, huh, Tara? Well... I can still use this to create some kind of diversion. Don't know who's writing this crazy story, but I better not die in it. Stay here. Gotta hurry. This guy was talking about me being unlike the others. Oh, things are not We'd going like the way to they remind expected. you of some basic they rules to apply in case of a I massive need to find sandstorm. Some sane people. Doors, you shutters, girl, and move. windows must be sealed. In case of violent winds, stay in the safest. That's him. 
He was putting up the missing hey! girl posters. You're not safe here. Him. They're going to hurt you. You need to come with me. Come on, Jade. We need to get hey, out of here stop now. Stop right there. I have things to tell nowhere, you. You hear me? I need you, you alive. Leave. No, 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 not this. Jade, you got to trust me. Hurry. Oh, please, no. I don't want to die. I'm out of here now. Am I still alive? Am I hurt? Oh, I guess not. Nice job back but there. He, oh my god, he got hit. Uh, it was a close call. <coughs> it's okay. It's just a hole, right? <sighs> Hugens. Gary Hugens. That's my name. I'm the one who called you, on the phone. We don't have much time. You're doing a good job anyway. You're resisting them. It drives them crazy. They're not used to it. We lost them for the moment, but they won't let you leave. Listen, this, all this, it's a very old story. No one wants to tell. The motel, this military base of the desert, the experiments they did back there in the 60s, thousands of people who disappeared without a trace. <coughs> it's all connected. For a long time, I've thought the army was behind this. But no, it is way older. People go into the desert never to be seen again. It's a sort of pilgrimage, but with no return ticket. You think the government would try to stop this? <laughs> they just stand there watching, making sure everything goes the way they want. It's Wesley's job, that pig. Uh, 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 uh. He's in a state uh. of shock. I need to find him water. He's hurt. I don't know what to do. Is there water here? He's in a state of shock. I need to find him water. I'm gonna need this. Paris. Do you remember Tara? He's hurt. I don't know what to do. Is there water here? Okay, now we got water. the victims. Crystal. I know her story. 23 years old. <coughs> her life was all about art. Drawing. She learned from her mother who was a painter. A normal passion for a normal girl. My little girl. Her mother died six months ago. I never managed to fill the void. I was demolished. I didn't see her slip away from me. Now she's gone. I lost them both. But that's how it works, you see. The people who come here, they all lost something. Someone. They felt the call. <coughs> and I feel it too, deep inside. Me and you, we're here for a reason. But you need to keep fighting. Life is worth it. 
Come on. Oh, damn, he's heavy. Remember, Jane, you learned once. You know how to do this. Come on, Gary. I've never seen someone die, and I don't plan to now. No, stay with me, Gary. Stay. I need to thank you. There's something in the desert. Don't go there. Leave. Get as far away as possible from this place. Oh, it's so dark here. I... I... I know that sound. and tubes like strings turning you into a puppet. I hate them. I hate all this because I can't do anything about it. Because nothing my imagination can create will save you. How you doing today? I've seen the doctor. He told me you're doing better. He says you're fighting it all right, baby. And you're kicking ass. You're my badass, honey girl. So sorry. How did it end like this? I hope you found your father. He's a good guy. Somewhere. This must be it. Okay. Be brave, Jade. You're not a little girl anymore. That's the year the experiment to this special ground too began. Huh. An important date in the history of bad ideas. the storm's gone. Need to find the road now. Oh, God, I'm exhausted. I want to disappear into your arms, Tara. I need your fingers walking up and down my spine. Well, I wasn't expecting this, but it's better than square miles of sand, I guess. Wait, I... I recognize this. It's Tara's dream catcher. It belongs in my car. Why is it here? Nice try, Jade, but... Something useful in Gary's trailer. Too bad. Kind of hoped I wouldn't make it. Now I have to go down there. Do I want to go? No. Do I need to? It's relative. What is this? A bunker? That smell. Ugh. <sighs> you found yourself another lovely place, girl. It looks abandoned. It smells like old chemical stuff. Oh, please, no! Go away! Please don't look over here. 
Okay, you did it. Tiny keyhole. Locked. Why are you locked? Why don't you just trust me? Another locked door. There's a card reader, so I guess I need to find a... One small key for me, but one huge step forward towards freedom. I hope. And that's it. Look who is hiding in there. William T. Davis, physicist. <laughs> Ooh, you were a real smoker. Still smells of tobacco. That's it, just like in sci-fi movies. Except I could really die on this one. supposed to be my map, Tara. You always have been. <sighs> and now I'm lost. I can barely feel my legs. Damp sand, like a vicious caress under my feet. <sighs> Got to keep going. It's a cemetery. Not Christian. Native American. Timbisha? I don't mean to disturb anybody, just passing through. That's the problem with this world. There's always a lock on something. Looks like... yeah, it can be removed. Here we are. Okay, no more chance of my frying my butt on that fence. Got to get to the end of this thing. Not that I want to be pessimistic, but uh, I'll never fit through here. Not that I want to be pessimistic, but, uh, I'll never fit through here. Done. Time to get to the other side. Not sure the grass will be greener there, but, uh, hey. At least sand is equally disappointing from wherever you look at it.
So this is special ground too. Looks like this place was really confidential back then. Before they all ran away from it. Why? Gary said they messed up. Whatever it was they were doing here, they decided to stop interfering and keep watching from the motel. <laughs> Introducing Wild Rifle Wesley. It's stuck. Damn sand. supposed to do with all this? It activates the bridge, but there's no power. No, something's missing. Why is this so complicated? I'm not an engineer. Baby? Tara, is that really you? Or is it one of those dreams? Please don't vanish. I'll try to get to you. They were studying this place. Upsetting it. Did they create that thing that's been following me? Woke it up by mistake? Or on purpose? Did they think my life was so boring that it needed something like this? The doors have the same indicators. This must control them. Welcoming. It's unlocked now. Doors have the same indicators. This must be unlocked now. Leave me alone! came from. I think it's gone. Nicholas Leo, geologist. Tiny black spots on this one. Is it ink? Or some weird alien substance. Ground two. You're here. Oh, this stuff is. This stuff is too much, even for me. And man, have I written weird things, but this. Wait. If ground two is there, what are those other spots? Russia? Africa? Okay, later.
Come here, you. Instructions. This might be useful. Stuff sounds serious, like national security serious. You go. A crowbar. First time I've ever handled one of these. Oh, my life's such a treat. Special Grounds Unit. It's them. Wesley Argos and the other little soldiers behind this. Okay, this is the beginning of something. Wow, did I do that? Must mean power's coming back soon. Jade? It's me, baby. Tara. I never wanted to hurt you, you know. It's you. Your fear did this. It turned me into a monster. I hate this thing. But it's gonna be okay now. I know. You were afraid. By running away from me, you were running away from the past. Now you can see the truth with wide open eyes, and we can be together again. I won't abandon you this time, I promise. It's a crater, you know. It's extraordinary what it does. I was floating into darkness, and then it made me come back for you, Jade. Okay, you decided to make a monster of me, but hey, nobody's perfect. The crater is not a bad thing. It's a door. A thousand doors, actually. It doesn't kill. It just changes the way things are. It's gonna be all right. We can still be together. But you need to trust me. I know it's not easy after all that's happened, but... Let's leave all this madness behind. The dark days are over. It's a new life. You just have to follow me. It's now, babe. It's your call. I can't stay here, Jade. You need to decide. Come with me or say goodbye. I need you, Jade. I want to stay with you.
No, no, I don't want to be here. Stop messing with my head, whatever you are. Stop it. You hated being photographed, but when I took this one, you said nothing. You knew you were about to go. Only this would remain of you. A frozen picture on paper. How many times did I say these words to you? Sleep well, honey. But I knew that sleep would come to me eventually. And you'd be there alone with the sickness, your eyes wide open in the dark. Oh, I... oh no. Tara, no. Wake up, please. It's just a dream to hear. It's a trick. A lie. It can't be. Oh, I need you to be alive. Oh, come back, please. I need you. I was the one living in a dream, Tara. A dream where you were still alive. Now the dream has ended. It's time to wake up to a new world. Here I am. In the heart of ground, too. So this was what the fog was hiding. Tara called it a crater. Did something fall from the sky here? It's unreal, Tara. I... I'm sorry, but I'm kind of terrified right now. I guess there's no turning back. No? Yeah, I knew that. It's okay. Is that a nuclear bomb? Is it still active? Carrie said the army messed up with the crater. They wanted to seal it, but... Wes seemed to fear the fact that pilgrims wouldn't keep coming here. And that that would have consequences, like it happened in 1963. But I'm here now. What's gonna happen to me? Timbisha tombs. I came here to bury some of their dead. Maybe because they were the only ones who knew how to deal with this place. To respect it. Do you still love me, Tara? Even like this? Well, I guess it doesn't matter what you are. I loved you as a memory, as a dream, even as a ghost. I guess this is what truly drives a pilgrim in the end. Love. Okay, girl. I'm coming with you. Show me more. Many things break in our lives all the time. And I'd like to say that there's no need to be afraid. Yet, if nature is constantly trying to fill the absence of light, doesn't that mean it knows fear? Fear of emptiness? Of what is not? That's what makes Special Ground 2 so special. It's a constant hole in reality. A never-ending beginning. Today, I still have doubts that all this really happened. I just know it's okay to be afraid. And I'm sure of one thing. This world has many special grounds. And one day or another, we'll go. Hey, I need your ID card. No ID, no room. Still no news of Jade LaCroix, the 36-year-old woman who disappeared one month ago during a sandstorm in the Sandstove Creek area, Death Valley. <sighs> Poor girl.